Medical Falls Pediatrics, where he is supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy. Hey guys, welcome back to Seven Questions with Emmy. My guest today has taken some of the most beautiful photos in the world and Getty's pictures of children who have been featured in seven award winning books, calendars, and greeting cards, journals, and many other places. She has been inducted into the International Photography Hall of Fame. And today, Anne joins me live from Blonde Studios in New York City. Thank you for being here today, Anne. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to talk to you. You too. Let's get started with the questions. Okay. Question number one, how did you enter photography? Well, you know, I'd always been interested in pictures of people. And let me tell you something that I don't tell many people is that when I was a brand new baby, I don't have any photographs of myself at all. And I bet you've got lots of photographs. See, I can see you looking surprised. But um, you know, it was a different time. And so, you know, I just don't have any. And I think that kind of inspired me a little bit to record other babies, you know, because they're all so beautiful and especially when they're so tiny and new um, and they're so inspirational. So that's how I really got started, doing portraits of people. Question number two, how many photos do you think you've taken in your career? Oh, please. Thousands, maybe. Thousands, lots and lots and lots. You know, because I've been photographing for nearly 35 years, so I've had plenty of time to take lots of photos of babies. Maybe even you know, a some, billion. Yeah, and some of the babies that I photographed when I first started uh, are, are moms and dads themselves. Isn't that great? Yeah. Uh, what's the weirdest picture you've ever taken? Well, you know, I wouldn't say weird. I think that what I, I've probably got about maybe 20, 15 to 20 images that I really love um, because there's a little bit of magic in it. So I think magical instead of weird. And I've got one of the photos in the background. You see the baby there that's lying in the roses? Yeah. Can I tell you a little story about how that was done? Because sometimes, you know, you never know what you're going to get when you're photographing babies, right? And when I first met this little baby, Philippa, she was sitting on the carpet in my um, reception room at the studio. And I walked in and she looked up at me with that beautiful smile. And I said to her mother, who was there at the time, oh, my goodness, what a lovely smile. And you guess what her mother said? Oh, Anne, I hate it when she smiles like that. She said, but, you know, if you want her to do that, all you've got to do is smile like that and she'll copy you. So there I was up in the ceiling right, because the camera is facing down, you can see. And I was trying, with the camera in front of my face and trying to smile mm. like that, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then all of a sudden she did, and she only did it for like a second, but I grabbed it. And that's the magic element to it. That's really cool. <laughs> I think so too. How do you get the babies to be patient with the costumes and photos? <laughs> well, you know what? Everything needs to revolve around the babies, right? Because they are what I call the ultimate important people in the studio when we do shoots. And therefore, I have to set up everything the day before so we're not fiddling around with lights, for instance. Because say if I was photographing you and you're seven, right? I mean, I'm I eight. could say, oh, you're eight. Oh, well, congratulations. <laughs> and so I would say to you, Emmy, can you sit over there while I adjust the lights? And you would do that, right? But you can't do that with the baby because yeah. they're just like, I am going home now, Anne, goodbye, and off they go, right? I always joke that babies have no respect for photographers. So everything has to be um, around making them happy. That's how I do it. That's my secret. Uh, where do you come up with your creative ideas? Well, you know, I think that if, if you're passionate about something and you're passionate, obviously, about what you're doing and asking questions and finding out things, um, you know, about other people, and I'm passionate about photographing the mystery of pregnancy and new life. And I think every time I see a tiny little newborn baby, 
it gives me a sense of wonder. And, you know, I work hard at telling the story um, of new life and, and what little babies mean to people. You know, if, for instance, if you had a baby in the room there with you, I bet you'd have a big smile on your face, right? Yeah. And that's what they mean to people. So I'm very, very lucky to have this career. Did you ever think you'd sell millions of books and be on Oprah? And what had the experience been like? Oh, I never thought that. Nobody ever thinks that when they start out. And I think good advice for anybody who's, you know, starting out in their career is you've got to live in the moment and you've got to work really hard and you've got to have your own unique story to tell. If you start thinking about, oh, I'm going to have lots of books and I'm going to be on Oprah, then, you know, you're not really being authentic, right? And I went on Oprah two or three times and she was so amazing to me, right? I mean, I don't think there's anybody in the whole world who would have a bad thing to say about Oprah. And she's very generous with people. Um, and when she held up my first book, um, which is called Down in the Garden, and said, this is one of the best books I've ever seen and it's a great gift for Christmas. I was like, oh, my goodness, right? And that's when all the books started to sell, right at that very moment. So I, I just love Oprah. And I had great fun on the show too. Yeah. Um, you're from Queensland, Australia. My dad lived there for two years. Is there an Australian oh, food you miss that you can't get in America? Oh, yes. You know what it is? Well, there's two things. Two things. Meat pies with mushy peas, right? And a little bit of ketchup, or we call it tomato sauce over there. And the other thing was when I was a child in North Queensland, we used to have a holiday on Magnetic Island, which is just off Townsville. And we used to go to the fish and chip shop and they'd roll the fish and chips in newspaper and hand it over and we'd pick a little hole in the top and tip in some vinegar and then we'd sit on the beach and eat them, just like that, out of the newspaper. Whenever I think of Australia, I think of meat pies and fish and chips in newspaper. I've never tried them because I've never been to Australia, but my dad probably has and he probably likes them. Well, he'll need to take you there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Told him to that one week. He took my mom, but not me. Oh, I know that's not fair. And I know dad's listening, so he better get his act together. We'll Tell do him it. <laughs> uh, now it's time for some bonus questions. Are you ready, Anne? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, question number one Have you ever been to Idaho and tried our famous potatoes? I have never been to Idaho. And I can't say that I've tried an Idaho potato, but is that the ad where the big potato is on the side of the truck? You know? Yes. Okay. Well, I've seen the ad and I am definitely going to try an Idaho potato this weekend, particularly roasted, right? They're good, are they? I've been in the Idaho potato truck, so I definitely know what it is. Oh, you've been in one? Yeah. Um, you you can come and eat a potato with me to Idaho. That'd be great. Well, it's and, a date. And you can take a picture of my little brother. He's like, oh. he's three, so he's kind of in a baby state. His three's pretty cute. What's his name? Elliot. Elliot. Oh, will you give Elliot a hug from Auntie Anne? Okay. Yeah. And one for you too. Okay, um, you take a lot of photos of brave children who have been through a lot. What is that like? That is one of the best parts about my long career. And um, I think you might be talking about some of the photos that I took um, for meningitis awareness. And are you talking about the little children who have lost limbs and things like that? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean... It was amazing and it was such a privilege to actually be able to photograph these children and their families and to know that the families would trust me to take really nice photos. So, um, and we made so many friends, you know, I traveled around the world and we're still in touch with a lot of those families. So it was very, very rewarding for me. Do you have any advice for me? For you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, you know, I think I kind of gave you advice earlier 
And it's to like, you are very curious, right? You're a curious girl and you're interested in other people, correct? Yeah. And you ask great questions and you listen to the answers. And I think that's really, really important as well. So, you know, you could end up being, well, um, a television reporter. You know, you see there's some amazing reporters on CNN and, and, and places like that. So maybe that's what you want to be doing. But whatever you do, you have to make sure that it makes you really excited inside. And that's the best advice I can give. Thank you, Anne. I'm, I'm going to post you one of my books. Would you like that? Yeah. Yeah, especially for you. And it's, it's called A Labour of Love. And I thought this was the best book you might enjoy because in there I talk about my career and how I did a lot of the photos that you've seen. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for talking with me today, Anne. It's a pleasure. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Idaho Falls Pediatrics, why are you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy?